Previously, I talked about the sensor regression model in which our dependent variable is reported up to a certain level, although we observe values after that threshold, but uh, we have incomplete observations about those values. And I give you two examples. One was the example of censoring from the above, where although we observe this section of the data, but our coding denotes this type of data as above $100,000, rather than exactly knowing uh, these values. Similarly, I gave you another example where we censor our data from below and uh, although we have this segment of the observations in our data, but we code it as less than $10,000. In this video, I'm going to talk about the truncated regression model that differs from the censored model. In the case of uh, censoring data, we do have information about this segment of the population. Our sample, this whole segment, including uh, this segment, it was picked up randomly from the population. On the other hand, if we have truncated data, we restrict our attention to only a subset of the population before picking up uh, this sample. For example, maybe our research question is to analyze saving behavior of people with income below $100,000. So see, our research question is totally different, so we'll not sample this part of the population. Similarly, we may ask a question, what is the saving behavior of people with income level above $10,000? So in this case, we will omit this part of the sample and observe only observations above $10,000 in our sample. So what we are doing here is that we are subsetting our population prior to sampling in both of uh, these cases. So this type of uh, truncated sample scenario arises frequently in survey data when our survey targets a particular subset of the population. So in this case, we only observe the outcome and the explanatory variable if the outcome is less than or equal to a certain value, which in this case was income below $100,000 or income above $10,000. One thing to note here is that uh, our sample is not random in this case but because we are excluding this whole segment of the population from our sample. So essentially our sample is not representing the population which means we are losing a lot of information that we did not include in our sample in this uh, section and our number of observations will be less than the censored data. So this is the main difference between censored regression model and truncated regression model. In the censored regression model, we do observe this part of the population. We pick sample from this part of the population, but we have incomplete information about the part of sample which is picked up from this part of the population. On the other hand, from the truncated regression, we entirely ignore this part of the population and do not pick a sample from this part of the population and concentrate only on certain range of uh, values from the population. To regress this model, we need this library trunk reg and we're going to use trunk reg function. And uh, the first argument again here is our regression formula. And then remember this variable hours, it shows the number of hours a woman provided her labor services in uh, the labor market and the value is between zero and uh, about 5,000 hours and there were 325 zeros in this uh, data. So we're going to trunk this data from the left hand side and ignore the sample which is equal to zero. So we are essentially estimating our sample in this part of the population, the population which worked positive hours in the labor market. So we are not considering the woman those provided zero hours in the labor market. Whenever you interpret these coefficients, you specifically say that this applies only to this part of uh, the population. For example, in this case, you will interpret this as an extra kid at home reduces working hours of a woman by 318 hours Kate Rasperibus, for the woman, those worked 
in the labor market for positive hours. This is the distinction that you have to make while interpreting uh, these results. You have to specifically mention that this applies only to this specific sample. Alright, I'll see you in the next video to talk about the Heckman selection model.